I saw this statement written on a t-shirt. It said, it's all about me. Now it was intended as a light-hearted comment, but it does express the attitude that is very common in our society. How different that attitude is from the instructions Paul gave the Philippian church. He said four things to them. Number one, do nothing out of selfish ambition. Now ambition is a good thing. If you have ambition, you'll achieve your goals. It keeps you focused. But selfish ambition is wrong because selfish ambition will never consider other people. It's all about me. Second, he said, do nothing out of vain conceit. In other words, don't be self-seeking, ego-driven. Don't have an exaggerated sense of your own importance. Don't live a pride-filled life. And whatever you do, don't do it out of vain conceit. Third, he says, in humility, consider others better than yourself. Humility is one of those misunderstood words. But before God, we are all spiritually bankrupt, unable to save ourselves. Yet God in his love and mercy has extended grace to us all. The humble person knows this and has nothing to boast about because he knows the truth about himself. That person is free to become a servant to all people. And finally, Paul says, don't just look out for your own interests, but for the interests of others. Let me assure you of this. The proud person will never serve because it's all about me. Whereas the humble person is an imitator of Jesus who looked out for the interests of others to the point of giving himself upon the cross for their sins. The humble person has Jesus as his role model. So what's the big point that Paul is making here? It's simply this. Those who belong to Jesus, those who are followers of Jesus, are to be distinctly different people. And that's seen in how they treat each other. That's the distinguishing mark of a follower of Jesus. They treat people as Jesus treats them. And Jesus is their role model, their example.